Good evening, everybody. So I just got off work. That is why I'm looking like this. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video um, up tonight. So this video is a collaboration, my very first one. Um, and it's with Keto Mama or Nassine O'Brien is her name now. She's trying to get her name changed back. She's just having some trouble with that. But I will put the link to her channel below. Um, I love her channel. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. And I watch, she makes videos, I believe, every single day. She does a day in the life of grocery hauls, keto recipes, um, products, different things like that, life vlogs. So um, go ahead over to her channel and um, tell her that I sent you. And I think you will love her channel as much as I do. And if you are from Nassine's channel, welcome. I am Allison. I have lost, I think, 60, 65 pounds maybe um, on um, keto. So I've been doing keto this round because I, I will go into that. I have been doing this for since last August, the end of last August, so almost a year. Um, I've done keto before, but I, I would cheat, like go off plan and, the, oh, I'm just going to do it this one or two days and then I'd be totally off. But this time I decided not to um, have any cheat days or anything like that and it's worked. So it's between 65 and 70 pounds depending on the day. Um, so I was 271.9 this morning. Um, so whatever that makes it. But I enjoy this lifestyle, um, and again, welcome to my channel. So for our collaboration, we're going to be doing a recipe with eggs. So someone had given her some farm fresh eggs. She'd already used all those. So um, we were just doing a, re a regular egg recipe. Doesn't matter, you know, what kind of eggs you have. I happen to have bought some um, eggs uh, farm fresh eggs locally from one of our um, veterinarians where I work. So I'm going to be using those for my recipe, but it's just whatever your choice is with um, eggs, just it just had the recipe has to have eggs in it. That's the um, in, that's the main ingredient. So I decided I, I, I was looking online and I, there was a couple different recipes that I was looking at. So I came up with something that I think would be easy and very good and would be good for your family, for you. Um, and I think um, it would be like a quick breakfast you could grab in the morning, make up a batch of these. And I hope you enjoy. So let's get into the recipe. Okay, so let's get um, to the recipe. So I'm going to be making um, egg sandwiches, like egg McMuffins, but they're not going to have any bread on them. So in the oven, I've got some just uh, frozen sausage um, on broil just to cook it pretty quick. It's already pre-cooked. It just needs to be like browned up and thawed. Um, or you can do bacon, whatever you want to do. We're just, you know, trying to do quick this evening, and we decided to go with that. So then you're going to melt some butter in your pan and take your lids to the mason jars and you're going to spray the bottom of that. Or you can like grease it however you'd like. So go ahead and put those in the bottom of the pan. So this is going to act as our like bun for our sandwiches. So, I got this recipe. There's a couple of, of them online, but I got this particular one from, um, it's Peace, Love, and Low Carb, but she uses, like, bacon. So, I just got the concept from her. So, you're going to take your egg and just crack it right in the middle of that the best you can. So, I'm using these really good farm fresh eggs that I got, so I'm really happy about that. So, just crack those in the middle of the um, top. Now, if you have like some silicone molds or something like that, you can go ahead and use those. Um, but this was, she also recommended to do this if you have this. And of course, most of us have some mason jars on hand. 
I can get this open and not get shells everywhere. And we're going to break the yolk anyway, so it doesn't matter if it breaks. All right, let's see if I can get this one in there. And I got a shell. Hold on. And it's going to come out like from under it a little bit, um, but that's okay. You're just basically wanting most of the egg to be a round shape. So you can just crack those in that. Now, I'm just going to season this like I would my regular egg. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. So this is going to make two sandwiches because we've got four of those rounds. So you're going to want this to cook. Now, you, like I said, you have egg that is on the side, but you can just add that to your, on top of your sandwich. But it's just with that, you're going to poke the yolk and kind of spread it out look just like that and then like the extra egg like I said you can just put it on the top but it's just to give you like a shape for part of the sandwich so we're gonna let these cook for three to four minutes and I will be back okay so this is what the eggs look like after like three to four to five minutes so it looks like the egg they put on the muff, McMuffin at McDonald's. So this, this is how we'll do that. I'm just gonna turn this off for a second. And when you before you flip it over, you take the little mold off, and then that way you can make sure the other side is cooked. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a piece, and what I did with the other pieces, like the little pieces that were on the side, was I just um, put them on the top and it worked. So we're gonna put one egg the piece of sausage there and then i'm just using like sliced um white american cheese but you can use whatever cheese you want you can leave it off but i'm gonna just kind of put that to where it's gonna melt in the middle just one piece of that and we're going to take the top and I'm just going to see I put the little pieces on there but you won't be able to see those and you're just going to lay that right on the top you can add mayonnaise you can add mustard whatever you normally would to a sandwich and voila that's it so you're gonna we're showing that you can have on-the-go breakfast keto style so this is your keto egg McMuffin and you could like let these cool wrap them up you could freeze them you could make them for the next morning. But yeah, so this is my egg recipe. Be sure to go over and check out Nassine O'Brien, Keto Mama's uh, recipe. I'm looking forward to seeing hers after this one goes live. And I hope that you all will subscribe to her and to me. As always, I will talk again soon. Good night.